When I was a teenager, I liked to draw pictures of eagles. But it was two decades before I saw eagle flying in the sky for the first time. Even then, they tended to appear as tiny silhouettes on a distant horizon. Now it was time to see closer the dream bird of my childhood. I knew the eagle would probably visit this hide only once during the day, so I tried to keep things simple. I had two cameras in this trip, Canon R5 with a new RF 100-500mm lens. The other camera I had was R6 with a DO 400mm lens. My intention was to focus on video, and if things went smoothly, I would be able to shoot photos more freely. The RF 100-500 was in use for the first time. It's a great device in many ways, but it also has some drawbacks. It's not an internal zoom, so the length increases when you use the zoom. So you have to be careful with it in the hide, or you'll scare the target away. I had variable ND filters on my lenses for video shooting. On the RF lens, you have to adjust it on the front lens, while on the EF lens you can adjust the filter more easily from the converter or remove it if necessary. I use all three custom modes in R5. You can read the settings I use from the description below. When you are in the hide or in nature, it's worth listening for the alarm calls of birds. You will learn to recognize them over time. When the eagle arrived, it started to snow. What a perfect timing.
The RF 100 to 500 mm lens feels excellent to use, but the image is a little too sharp for my taste. Whereas the DO 400 mm lens has a buttery smooth bouquet and more cinematic feel. When the eagle had left, I immediately started thinking about the next step. Would I come back here in few days? But soon I began question whether I always needed more photos and better photos. Wouldn't this wonderful experience be enough? I didn't want to spoil the mood. These trips always leave a great memory. And that is more important than just the photos. Great experiences and memories are why I end up doing these trips. Then it started to snow and the landscape became really beautiful.